million superstar. Whip, whip. You gotta to classy for this world. Well, that's what you are. are. Lingerie reflecting off the mirror on the bar. Too classy to be sexy. Bitch, I'm the bar. So guys, this is the hair we'll be using for today's video. I forgot to show you guys before removing it from the pack, but it still looks like the same. This is color 30. It's so pretty. I love this color. Oh my god, let me bring it closer to you guys. Can you see this? It's so pretty and bouncy. I'm going to be using two packs. I think one pack contains like 20 pieces of passion twist. So this currently is like two and a half and it's going to be enough for a full hair because I'm still going to like unravel it and divide it into two. One passion twist will give me two braids because I don't want it to be too thick. So two and a half is literally going to be more than enough. But if you want your hair to be full, full, maybe you get three or four packs. So let's get straight into installing this beauty right here. So everything I use in today's video will be linked in the description box. So right now, I'm just parting my hair. This first section at the back is going to have three braids in it. So I'm just separating the passion twist into two. Like I told you guys earlier, I don't want my braids to be too thick. So I'm going to divide it and use one for one braid and the other one for another braid. So I'm just showing you guys how to hold the passion twist before you start braiding. And you are going to use your own hair as a third piece. So you just wrap the passion twist around your hair like so. And then you're going to start braiding with your own hair as a third piece. So you're going to braid two to three times. Then you now separate your own hair into two like I'm doing. And then you add edge control to it to smooth it out before you start twisting it. So that is just what I'm doing. And I'm going to start twisting right now. I'm still going to show you guys like four to five times on how to do this particular braiding method i'm still going to show you guys another method as well which is the crochet method so if you're not good with braiding i think you should be able to do the crochet method because it's also easier and it will give you the same results as well So I'm done with the first braid and I'm going to explain again how to braid your hair using this particular method. So you get your passion twist and wrap it around your hair like I'm doing right now, holding your own hair as the third piece for the braiding. So you use your index finger and your thumb to hold your hair and then you braid it down like two to three times before you start twisting. So when you braid your hair like three times down, you now separate your hair into two like I'm doing. You can add edge control to smooth it out. Then you now start twisting to the anti clockwise direction so when you get your passion twist you want to check the direction of the coils so that you not twist it directly the way the coils are looking so it doesn't look weird so when you twist down a little you check if it's going the same direction with the coils if it doesn't look nice you unravel it and then twist it to, like the other direction
So for the front section, I'll be adding extra passion twist to my hair while twisting down so that it can be the same length with the one at the back. So I'm just going to separate it a little and keep it aside so that when I'm twisting, I get to the place I want to fit it in. I'll do just that. So you're going to start braiding your hair like normal and then you're going to use your own hair as a thick piece like I explained to you guys earlier. So you braid your hair two to four times down and when you get to the first one you are going to separate your hair into two equal halves apply edge control to smooth it out just like i'm doing right now when you separate your hair into two you start twisting down so you twist like five to six times down and then you now fit in your braids i'm going to show you guys how to do that as well so you're going to get the extra passion twist you want to fit in and then you're going to put it in between your thumb and your index finger so when you do that you just continue twisting down again like i'm doing and that's literally how to add your passion twist by twisting so i'm going to show you this couple of times again right now i'm braiding my hair and i'm going to braid it two to four times so when i get to the fourth one i will separate my natural hair into two and then i'm going to apply edge control to smooth it out like i'm doing right now separate it into two and then you continue twisting you apply edge control if you want to and then when you twist down to like five to six seven times then you fit in the extra braid to make it the same length with the one at the back i'm going to fit in just between your thumb and your index finger you guys should please ignore the background noise I apologize for all the background noise so i'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the video So I'm going to show you guys the crochet method I told you guys earlier. So you are going to pass out your hair and then you start braiding it down like you would normally do. You braid it down like three, four times and then you are going to use your crochet needle to install the passion twist. So just watch what I'm doing. After braiding it down like three to four times, I'm going to use my crochet needle to pull it through. So when you add the passion twist to the crochet needle, before you pull it through, you want to make sure you close it so it doesn't get stuck while pulling it through. And when you have successfully added the passion twist, you are going to start braiding using your natural hair as the third piece. So you use your index finger and your thumb to braid this. When you braid like three to four times down, you now start twisting. You are going to separate your hair before you start twisting, which is what I'm doing right now. So you separate it into two equal halves and then you can add edge control to smooth it out before you start braiding. So that is just what I'm doing. I'm still going to explain it like two times for you guys. So I stopped twisting to show you guys that this method and the other method is pretty much the same thing. It looks the same way, it came out the same way. So you just have to choose the one that works better for you. But personally, I think the crochet method is simpler and straightforward. So any one that you want to, you can just go with it. It's still going to give you the same good results with like braiding your hair normally. So this one is actually faster as well, to be honest. So anyone that works for you you do it i'm still going to explain it again like i told you guys so i'm just applying edge control to smooth out the hair and any flyaways so you are going to divide your hair into three which is what i'm doing and i'm just showing you guys that they are equal so you want to make sure it's equal before you start braiding so i'm just going to braid it down like three to four times before i install the passion twist using the crochet needle so just watch and see what i'm doing
so i'm done with braiding my hair and it's time for us to cut the ends this is optional you can leave your hair like that but me i want to add some curls to it so i'm going to use this flexi rod to cut the ends of my hair So right now I'm done and I'm going to dip it into hot water and you want to make sure you are using something that is very deep for the hot water so you don't pour it on yourself mistakenly. Don't use this small thing I'm using you guys. It was so hot so you want to make sure you get a big container for the hot water. So after dipping it in hot water, you want to make sure that it is standby so well so you're not like dry out the hot water so it doesn't like drip on your leg or something. So I'm done dipping it in hot water I'm going to just use my towel and then use the hot water to like go around my hair so i'm going to unravel the coils and show you guys how it came out i love how it came out and i'm going to do the same for the rest of the hair and can you guys see this the coils are popping it's so cute this is optional actually if you don't want it so I'm going to unravel the rest of the hair. So I'm going to use this hair mousse to smooth down any flyaways. You guys, it was getting dark at this point, and I just had to like rush to finish this video for you guys. I'm going to show you guys the end result tomorrow. So i'm just showing you guys the back of my hair and how the curls came out it's so pretty i'm so glad i ended up doing that so i'm just going to show you guys how my hair is looking like the next day the next day so this is me the next day you guys i was looking all cute i love this color so much it suits my skin so so well it looks like this color was made for me actually i'm so happy i chose this color the hair is looking so cute and full so let me know what you think in the comment section rate this hair from 1 to 10 will you be trying out this hair i decided to style it differently to see how it looks and you guys expect different ways to style this hair from me this is going to be my next video so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did please go ahead and smash the like button subscribe if you've not done that already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys